Hello guys and welcome to episode 4 of my Civilization Beyond Earth playthrough playing as the Pan-Asian Corporation. So we do have our colonist here and he's ready to go and land on this place just here but we need to get rid of these fellas so we're waiting for them to move away. Just gonna tell him to go to Ziz for now. We've got our explorer continuing up there towards the pod. Are the aliens moving? No, they're not. Ah, yes they are. Right, let's get my soldier onto land. And we'll get my colonists to go onto land as well. Hopefully, hopefully the aliens won't just wreck that. Please don't. Cool, they didn't attack it. Right, let's uh, fortify. And we're going to found an outpost. Oh, cannot found an outpost within three tiles of another city. Outpost or station. Ah, uh, it's because this... It's because this is here. Ah, oh, that's frustrating. It says within three tiles of another city outpost. So that's one, two, three. Wow. So that means I'm not even going to be able to go anywhere near the Zinamas unless I settle here but then that's right in the way of this fellow and he's gonna get really pissed off with me oh i'm gonna have to completely change my plans now oh some miasma on or zinamas on here okay so maybe we'll go over here instead and that's probably a lot safer <laughs> pretty a lot safer um let's just quickly put on the uh yield icons hmm yeah i think here will be will do nicely we'll get access to the resolin, the silica, the fruit, the basalt, this resolin as well. Yeah, that's a really nice place just there. It doesn't give us much food though, like immediately, but the food around it, once improved, will be really good. And, and the only thing I'm concerned about is, is it a big deal having my second settlement so far away from my original one? It's the only thing. Because if it is, then we may as well just go like down here or something. And then we'll take advantage of the fiber, the coral, the algae. Yeah, the aliens will be in the way, but I guess we can just shoot off a couple of aliens. Oh, I don't know. Far away or not so far away? We need Zenomass, and that will give us a lot of energy. Actually, we don't need the energy so much anymore. Might be worth just investing down on the south here but we can't expand very far that's the worst thing hmm it's annoying about this outpost because this would be the perfect place right anyway let's get off the water because otherwise that's going to really mess us up keep them fortified till we get the outpost away <laughs> So our marine's finished, he can head down. I think we're going to have to just beat up some aliens. That's what we're going to do. We'll get this marine onto the water. And we're going to head around to just here. We're going to beat up on these aliens. That should be some fun. I love computers because they automate the tedious stuff and give us more time for important things like market. Your explorer has noticed something strange nearby. It could be a ruin, some sort of wreckage, or perhaps alien in nature. Yeah, I already know about that. Shut up. <laughs> right, we, we can build a network. And we can build a spy agency. Cool. This network will give us extra science. That's awesome. All pieces of... The instrument are accounted for. Our scientists will make good use of this instrument sent from her Earth. That's plus 65 science. That is really, really useful. We found a portable reactor and fuel source. That's giving us 50 energy. And we can't construct an expedition there just yet because we don't have an expedition module. So we're going to have to send our dude back to base. Turn off these yield icons. So we'll, yeah, we'll send him back to base, and then he can uh, go back there and excavate that. 
Right, as for our technology, that actually completed our technology for us, which is awesome. Um, what are we doing here? Alien ethics, what can this do? Zeno Sanctuary, give us plus four culture. Adds one point per turn to Transcendence Victory progress. <laughs> That's the kind of thing I'm looking for. Um, Mind Stem, adds one point per turn to Transcendence Victory. And Xenodrome. Provides a free Xeno Sanctuary in the city in which it's built. I'm guessing that's like a wonder, is it? Or are these just... No. Okay, anyway, let's go down here. We want to get Alien Ecology, I think. Xeno Swarm. Harmony Unique Unit. Mixed squad of human soldiers and adapted alien life forms. Simple versatile melee assault unit. It needs level four in harmony. We currently only have level one, I think. Um, let's see what else we can do. Terraforming. Tile improvement. Terrascape. Build by by worker units on any terrain provides two food, two production, two culture. Cannot coexist with Miasma. We don't want to do that. Um, gene Garden. Plus one science, plus two health. That provide that needs level two in purity. What about these ones? Let's have a look at these. Alien life forms. Alien preserve. Two culture. Cognition. Chemistry, get some petroleum. I think we need petroleum actually. So let's go to chemistry. Uh, over here we've got engineering, thorium reactor, repair facility. Maybe engineering is a good one to go down as well. I kind of got the idea that going one direction in the web um, helped out with specific affinities, but apparently that's not the case because looking further around you can see that there is, that it is really everywhere. So I think we'll go with chemistry or engineering. Let's go with engineering. That's the economic advisor and it does potentially give us money from the thorium reactor. Cool. Uh, right, quests updated. Let's have a look. Build a spy agency building. I guess we'll do that after we've completed the Explorer. Um, alien Preserve. Oh, we do need to do that. Um, maybe we'll change our thing after all. We'll get this Alien Preserve. We'll go for Alien Life Forms. Get the Alien Preserve, then we'll go to Engineering. So this guy needs to go back to base. These guys need to go hold up over there. And we need to start a war with the aliens. You don't really start a war, you just exterminate them. So that would do. Oh, we should probably swap those. I'll put that on there because he can stand in miasma. This, this, these guys can't. <laughs> um, right, next turn. Progressing slowly. Right, are we going to start attacking these guys now? I think we should. Pew pew pew! Alien blood everywhere. Right, our explorer's done. I think I might send this explorer up to go and do the expedition site over here. And when this one gets back to the base, we can send him to the west.
All right, change production. Well, we need new production. Are we going to get the spy agency? I think we shall. It's either that or we get the network. Uh, gunboat might be useful. Missile rover. Ranged unit. Specializes in reducing defenses of cities. Ah, that's like a trebuchet or whatever in Civilization V. Um, spy agency. I think we'll go with that. Let's attack. Jumping up at them. Cool. Right, next turn. Pretty sure the uh, life forms are going to get pissed off at me. Oh. My, uh... Oh, that was while defending. Okay, I wonder what happened then. Cooperation agreement has expired. I want to pick that one up again. So that the, uh... This guy doesn't attack me. Don't really need that right now. Shoot up these bugs. Wow, they did a lot, a lot of damage. And I guess we're going to finish them off. Cool. And now we can land the colonist on this piece of land here, which is nice and safe. We can get the soldier to follow. Although we don't really need the soldier there anymore, because it's going to be on the same piece of land. Let's move on to the next turn. Let's see if he offers us another cooperation agreement. Veterans he gained. Plus a marine. He gets a permanent plus 10 defense strength and range strength in combat. Or we can instantly recover 50 HP. I think we'll go with discipline. Because we're going to take them back to base and we're going to replenish them. Right, we're going to go here. Yeah, you, I recommend you found an outpost here. I already figured that one out, thanks. <laughs> oh, it's so silly. Right, awesome. The outpost has been constructed and will soon grow into a fully full city. It's important to protect the newly constructed outposts, they're vulnerable to attack. And it actually gave us a soldier unit, which has put us into <laughs> um, debt. <laughs> They're losing income now. Great. So I think that's mainly because I just built the city. That should fix itself as my workers get to work. Let's get the raptor bag back up. And we will put this marine onto shore. So I'm probably just going to delete this marine. I don't need him. That's going to put us to minus one. That's not too bad. Trade vessel needs to get working. We already have one with Banu Musa, so we'll continue trading with Megan. Get them to sit on there. We'll just fortify for now. Don't know if any aliens will pop up. Probably won't. Not quite sure how we sort out the health of this raptor bug unit. But we I know we can just fortify these guys until healed. I'm thinking maybe he has to like sit in miasma or something. To get health back. I'm not sure. Let's try it. That doesn't look like they got healed there. We have discovered alien life on our new world. Unsurprisingly, it grows, reproduces, dies, and cannot understand French. Great. <laughs> now we can move on to engineering. And we shall produce that thing I was looking for. We'll probably just add it to the queue. The alien preserve.
Cool. That'll do. And that needs orders. Come on, must be able to. Delete the energy. Or delete the unit, sorry. Sleep. Maybe they can't be fixed. Maybe that's part of the uh, catch, maybe. Send them to sleep. <laughs> oh, there's more aliens up here. Forgot about them. Need to destroy them. I think they're still pretty neutral with me. We only killed a couple of them. Now this explorer we're going to fortify until healed. And then we can send him to uh, go explore. So, familiar exotics. When we came to this planet, we brought a number of plants from old earth. Somehow one of these plants has taken root outside of Tiangong and turned invasive. If left unchecked, it could convert the local environment into a more earth-like ecosystem. Whether or not that is a good thing must be decided. I think we'll contain the outbreak. That will give us harmony affinity. So build a Xeno Sanctuary in Tiogong. Can I do that? Let's see if we can add it to the queue. No, I think we need to research that. What is it called? A Xeno Sanctuary. Ah, we have to get alien ethics before we do that. Ah, <laughs> Xeno Cavalry. Awesome. That'd be so cool. Oh, looks like it's healing now. My aliens are healing. Not sure if that's because of Xenomass or just because they're sleeping. Instruct the children not to dream of toys Engineering is finished sweets. almost instantly Instruct though. Instruct them to dream of infrastructure. Uh, combat rover, thorium reactor. We might want to build one of them. Repair facility we don't really need, so I won't build one of those. Let's get a new technology though. We don't want to add Myers Mini yet because I don't think we know how to walk in it. Maybe once my affinity gets high enough and the units evolve, they will then be able to walk in it. Maybe that's the case. Let's go towards Alien Ethics so we can get this Xeno Sanctuary. We can complete that quest. As for the other quests, kill 10 alien units. Uh, spy agency building, we're doing that already. We're doing that already. And we'll be doing this already as well. Cool. So this guy's heading over to the expedition. Uh, this explorer is going to head west. Um, tempted to take the soldiers with them. At the moment, we don't really need the soldiers. Actually, I was going to send the soldiers to kill the uh, alien that was over here. Get them off the island completely. Um, yeah, that'll be good. That's all. Our outpost is growing slowly. Looks like it's like one tile a turn, I guess. Our money is going up steadily. We have plenty of health and decent science. I think we're doing rather well at the moment. Get this marine on the move. That's some titanium there. And improve with the mine gives us plus three production. Cool. So maybe it is worth putting a city over here after all. Oh, but there's a titanium just here. So this was even more perfect. <laughs> right, let's get this raptor bug to go help out our soldiers.
Explorer can continue exploring. Get this explorer to work on an expedition. I think that's far enough away for him not to complain. I think we should probably talk to him though. See if we can get that agreement again. I don't know what it's called. Cooperation agreement, I think it was. Um, discuss. Shall we establish a cooperation Fadlan, agreement? Proceed. That will work. Great. Goodbye. Raptor bug, go help your soldiers. Oh, I'm standing in miasma. Does that affect my unit? Hope not. Ah, yes, yes it does. You now have covert agents available. Assign them to other factions' cities to perform covert operations, or to your own cities to protect yourself against enemy agents. Another encrypted transmission has been received. It reads, the cell appreciates your efforts. We'll be in touch. You've received none so far. <laughs> Great. Um, so I'm not sure how that works. Select a project. This may be helpful. The covert ops screen shows you the location and operational status of each covert agent. You may move agents and assign new operations from this screen. While the screen is open, additional information will also be displayed beside each city. Thanks. Okay, covert ops, what should we do? Uh, increases the chance of operational success for each agent in the headquarters. Lowers the risk to co covert agents doing operations for each agent in headquarters we've got uh, plus two percent health for each agent in headquarters plus one percent production for wonders and city strength and hit points health might be useful that seems to be going down quite a lot but we can also i think we can i think we'll do increase the chance of operation success or propaganda. I think we'll go with propaganda. Right. This agent's at headquarters. And is working on the current national security project. But we can send him elsewhere. So I want to sort of discover the next sort of closest person to me. So past Megan, I think it's the Frenchies. Yeah, so we'll send one to the French, sign one there, and then once they're there, we can actually do something, I think. Right, next turn. Yeah, we got attacked. <laughs> Brilliant. That did a lot of damage. Oh my. Minor defeat for attacking. Ouch. Let's get my uh, raptor bug over there as soon as possible. I'm going to try and retreat my marine. Maybe I should just fortify him for now. Yeah, that will probably work. Expedition complete. Your expedition team found a cavernous labyrinth underneath the progenitor ruins. While plumbing the depths, they found a few dozen interactive devices made of glowing stone that dissolved a few minutes after being touched. The rest of the maze was silent and empty. The knowledge the team gained from the devices illuminates part of a distant technology called artificial evolution, and our sciences, scientists acquire preliminary research on it. Artificial evolution. I think I'm already researching that, aren't I? Artificial evolution. Oh, wow. Okay, so it gave us some tech into this. Wow. Resurrection device. <laughs> plus 8% and plus 8 health. And what's this? You get progenit progenitor garden. Plus 20% health. Xeno Titan. Wow. We're getting pretty far into this tech. I think almost too far, like too soon. We should probably like focus on some more of this stuff. I'm thinking we're we're travelling too far out in the web too soon. 
when we could just like take advantage of like physics and chemistry and stuff. I have no idea. Anyway, let's return to the map and keep our explorer moving. This is a big sea. That kind of sucks. We're going to just like end up bumping into the land here. I think it's just a huge sea until we hit this land. Uh, so these guys are done. Let's get them back to base to get another expedition module. We get this raptor bug to go and find their raptor bug. Keep these marines fortified. Project activated. What is this? Oh, okay. So now we get the plus two percent health. That's increased our health by one. Let's attack these. Nom nom nom. And hopefully we can. Oh, we get a minor victory by attacking them with the soldiers. Nice. And hopefully, next time we can just wipe that out and we won't have to worry about aliens on our land anymore. <laughs> well, looks like the alien attacked my soldiers and destroyed them. Pardon me, I may be able to assist you. There are covert agents in the field which are currently idle. Assign them to do covert operations in the covert ops panel. So what am I doing then? Oh, okay. We'll send them to our own city. I'm assuming that's what we have to do. I'm, I'm confused. Can we only send one to our own place? Not sure. Let's just go to central. Why not? By going here we found out a bit about them. They've already got paddocks. And oh, we do have a new virtue though. Might be worth getting this cohesive values. Minus 10% culture needed for new virtues. Because it's going to slowly increase. And um, by doing that we can take advantage earlier on. So what do we get from doing this? Synergy bonus. Plus 10% production in the capital and plus 10% energy. And synergy bonus at the end is choose one free technology. On this side, we got plus one free virtue and recruit one new covert agent. Choose one free affinity level. And this one, oh wow, that's a nice synergy bonus at the end there. Um, let's go with cohesive values. It's going to increase our knowledge even further. We get plus 10% science in every city after that's complete. Oh, we get another free technology from the end of that as well. Right, arrived in Lecure. That choose an operation. Established network. Let's do that. Trade vessel is ready to go again. 15 science per turn. Wow. It's getting us a lot. This marine. Oh, he needs to travel back to our lands and fortify oh we need to get this raptor bug to go to sleep as well right, what's my uh, explorer doing oh it's this one over here you can go to sleep Oh, our city has finished. Brilliant. So what are we going to construct here? 
So everything's going to take forever. Uh, we don't need the uh, Miasmic Repulsor anymore, so we're not going to waste money on that. Instead, we need something that's going to give us money. So let's go with a Thorium Reactor, because we do have... Oh, well, we have Titanium nearby. Um... Yeah, I think we need to get a thorium reactor first because we do need the extra money. We're also going to build one in Tiang Tiangong after I've completed the alien preserve. Cool. That'll work out nicely. Uh, but that has unfortunately uh, been my time. So everything done for this episode hopefully you guys have enjoyed it thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next episode goodbye <laughs>